Hello, this is a nice Sunday afternoon. We have a nice day in Wisconsin, one of the first few days of spring, and here again is my horse Lee. And we're going to, what we're going to do is we're going to get some of this winter hair off of him. Now Lee, Lee has a perch on, and he goes about 2,000 pounds. Although the vet was out to see him for a shot and a look at his teeth a few days ago and says that he could lose about maybe two to three hundred pounds. Um, that sounds like a lot, but if you equivalent that to say, or make it equivalent to a man, uh, it might be a man needing to lose say 20 to 30 pounds. In his case, it's two to three hundred pounds that he thought he's heavy, but I'd rather see a horse come through the winter heavy than light. But anyways, what we're gonna use to take off some of this hair are these two rubbers that I use to pull the hair off and we'll see just how much hair comes off of him today. So just like this, rub him around and you see all the hair that just comes off. Anyone who uh, has owned horses knows that this time of the year, unless uh, you keep your horse rugged through the winter, this time of the year, it's always a mess to uh, take off all this hair. It gets in your face, and uh, there's various methods that some people use to take uh, winter hair off a horse, and it takes it takes about three weeks to a month to really to get them all shedded out. I would say by this time next month, uh, uh, in the month of May, he'll be pretty much uh, down to his uh, summer coat. But uh, there are these metal blades that kind of look like a saw blade that people use, but I prefer to use these plastic uh, rubbing uh, 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 curries because I think it's much easier on the horse. It doesn't really rip the hair out. It just, uh, whatever loose hair there is, will come off by doing this. And as you can see, there's a lot of hair coming off. Now Lee, a lot of people ask me, if I uh, drive Lee, and I don't, I strictly ride, I'm a bareback rider, and riding this big boy is kind of the equivalent to riding out on the trails on a nice comfy sofa. He's got a very comfortable back. Uh, maybe after he loses that two to three hundred pounds, who knows, I've diet, got him on his diet already, and probably by this time next year the vet will be a little bit happier with his weight, but um, uh, when he uh, loses that much weight, we'll see if his backbone is a little higher or not. But uh, it doesn't matter, I'm a good rider bareback-wise, and uh, I can handle uh, most horses, uh, uh, providing that they don't have a backbone that sticks up four inches. Anyways, uh, Lee is quite a nice ride. He's also a very gentle horse, very loving. I'll probably do another video of actually taking them out on the trail. So, this is springtime in Wisconsin. If you remember my last video, that uh, there was about 14 inches of snow on the ground. So here we don't have the snow anymore. It's a little bit warmer. We've hit the lower 50s. And I'm looking forward to a nice summer of riding. <laughs> 